What the hell's going on guys? I'm your host, Jerry Neutron. And welcome back to my all original YouTube series where I give myself a price range and then I build a PC within that particular budget. So today, actually before we uh, get into all that shit, today's freaking Super Bowl Sunday. Who do you guys got in this game? Panthers or Broncos? I got the Panthers by blowout. It's not even gonna be a close game. I'm just calling it now before the game's over so if you see this after the game is over just know I predicted the future but uh, anyways we're gonna do some PC freaking building today oh by the way drink of choice today is Powerade which is actually probably a bad idea because it's gonna turn my mouth blue oh, oh well fuck it it's freaking hot in here, man. I got the AC off for you guys, so it doesn't make any noise, and I'm freaking sweating. I might as well be playing in the Super Bowl right now. That's how hot it is. <sighs> anyway, let's actually get to the point of this damn video. Come on, Jerry. Anyway, so here's the deal. If you guys don't know, uh, MSI and PC Part Picker are throwing this contest where they are uh, giving you the opportunity to build your dream PC setup for $2,000. So, just for the hell of it, I decided to uh, go ahead and build one just to see what I could come up with for that price range. And uh, since I did that, I figure, hey, I might as well show you guys what I put together. Um, and then, you know, you guys can let me know what you think about it and stuff like that. So first of all, as far as the contest goes, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a link in the description to the uh, build guide that I put together here. If you guys like this build guide, make sure you go to that link and upvote my freaking build. Because I think the person with the most votes actually gets to build their dream system. And that'd be super dope to build something like that on this channel, I think. A hell of a lot better than talking about it, at least. I'm sure you would freaking agree. So uh, yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and do that. But uh, what I decided to do here today is actually put together a 4K video editing rig. I didn't want to do a gaming build like everyone else has done. So I decided to do a 4K uh, video editing rig. And I pretty much had free range to do what I wanted here as long as it's within a budget of $2,000. Oh, and I also have to use uh, an MSI gaming motherboard, either Z170 or X99. And I have to use an MSI graphics card. So those are my only restrictions there. But anyway, let's actually go ahead and get into the freaking build. All right, so CPU-wise, we're going with the Intel Core i7-5820K. So this is pretty much a no-brainer given that uh, we're going with the X99 platform and the uh, price range. So you get a six-core CPU, 12 threads. This thing is strong as far as single-core performance and multi-threaded. Uh, performance so just a real nice all-around workhorse for a good price it'll go perfect with our x99 build now for cooling off that CPU what we're going with here is actually one that you don't really see it's not too common but this is a uh, cryo rig h5a universal uh, and the reason I've chosen this particular CPU cooler is uh, number one it's fairly inexpensive and uh, also it's still pretty beefy cooler otherwise uh, and probably the best feature of it, I would say, is the fact that it's got this slim fan on it. So you don't really have to worry about the uh, fan interfering with your RAM if you happen to have high profile RAM. In this particular build, we don't, but I figure, hey. Now, for the motherboard, I've gone with the MSI X99A Gaming 7. Uh, and the reason I've chosen this particular board is uh, actually for a couple reasons. Number one, it's got an Ultra M.2 slot. So uh, we're actually going to take advantage of that in this build. It's going to give us some fast storage. Um, you got plenty of freaking USB ports. There's like 10 all together. Um, two of them are USB 3.1. It's got uh, SLI support if you are into that. Uh, plenty of SATA ports as well. Just uh, all around pretty solid board. For the RAM, I've gone with this uh, Crucial Ballistic Sport 16 uh, gigabyte kit. It comes with four sticks. Uh, it's running at 2400 megahertz. Um, the reason I've chosen four sticks here is just so you get that uh, quad channel memory support. Um, the good thing about the X99 boards is they have eight DIMM slots. So 
Uh, if for whatever reason you need to upgrade your RAM in the future, you still have four open slots. So you can get up to 32 gigabytes uh, total if you were to pick up another one of these kits. So I think 16 though is a pretty damn good starting point for a uh, video editing rig. All right, now for storage, I decided to spend a little bit of money on storage uh, in this case. And uh, what we're gonna be using for our uh, boot drive so our OS and all of our programs are going to go on this, is the Samsung 850 EVO. This is pretty much the best SATA-based SSD, or one of the best SATA-based SSDs that you can get at the moment. It uh, is always going for a good price, and uh, really it's just a proven performer, so that's why I've decided to um, go with it. Also, uh, one thing is compatibility. I decided to go with this over uh, booting off like an M.2 drive just because NVMe is still fairly new. So I decided to stick with this just for compatibility reasons. Um, the system will still be snappy and uh, yeah, I think that's enough reasons. Just fucking buy it. Stop questioning me. <laughs> All right. And also what we're putting on this is uh, an M.2 drive. So this is the Samsung 950 Pro. So this is uh, an NVMe drive, 512 gigabytes on this uh, SSD. And the reason I've actually chosen this, um, what we're going to use this for is uh, basically as a scratch disk. So any current project files that you're working on, you go ahead and move them to this drive. Since it's got like super fast read and write speeds, uh, it'll be perfect for working with 4K footage, which typically uh, tends to be pretty large. So um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be dedicated to our uh, video editing. So and also, we've actually gone with just a typical hard drive, uh, a two terabyte one in this case. This is just for storing um, archived footage. So maybe you want to save like a master copy of a finished project that you're working on. So you can go ahead and throw it on this uh, two terabyte drive. I'm satisfied with my storage setup. Well, you guys let me know if you would do it a little bit differently or uh, yeah, how you would configure your storage setup for a uh, 4K video editing rig. Now for the graphics card, I'm going with the GTX 980. Now I realize probably the R9390X is the better value in terms of uh, you know price of performance. But the reason I'm sticking with NVIDIA here is really for the uh, widespread CUDA support. And uh, yeah, so the uh, GTX 980 is just the safest choice when dealing with a uh, video editing rig. Make sure you get that CUDA support. If you want to go the OpenCL route, you definitely can go ahead and grab an AMD card. That's up to you. But I think, again, the uh, 980 is the safer choice. And also the uh, price not too bad at this point 479 so yeah it's up to you all right now for the power supply we're going with the uh, evga supernova 650 g2 so this particular uh, power supply is uh fully modular it's 80 plus gold certified uh i haven't found a single bad thing about this power supply anywhere uh which is which is definitely a good thing. It's got all black cables, so it'll look nice in your particular build. And uh, I think, again, this is just another safe choice as far as power supplies. Uh, 650 watts is plenty for a build like this. And it's not a bad price either, uh, given what you get. So now we're stuffing all this crap into the uh, Fantex Enthu Pro M. Now this is kind of more of a budgety case, which I've gone with uh, more so for budget constraints. But one of the good things about this case is it actually shares an internal layout with the uh, Evolve ATX. So even though you may not be getting the same quality as far as the exterior panels or fan options and things like that, um, the internal layout is still going to be pretty solid for uh, what you're paying for. So. I think that'll uh, be a good choice there. Plus, I like the way it looks. So, solid case there for the price. Um, Fantex always gives good value as far as what you're getting for your money. And uh, yeah. All right, so we're coming in at $1,874.29. So, well under our $2,000 price limit. And uh, I think we did pretty damn good. Um, let me know what you guys think if you would uh, have maybe done something different as far as building this, uh, again, not for gaming, but for a 4K video editing rig. 
Also, again, a link is going to be in the description to this particular build guide. If you did like this uh, build guide, if you did like this build, make sure you go ahead and uh, go over to that link and upvote this shiz so that we can actually build this damn thing on the channel because that'd be pretty sweet. So yeah, other than that, you know, do the usual stuff, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, um, leave a comment down below saying something fancy, I don't, I don't know. Think of something think of something cool to say and uh yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna get to uh watching this freaking game and uh until next time guys see ya huawei had a bunch of nice mobile stuff there i saw the uh, cherry mx booth